at grade 11's Zen Tricks and welcome back to my next video about vectors. In today's video, we're going to focus on directions for vectors. So, I want you to understand that there's multiple different ways that we can quote or state the direction of a vector. Now, let's rewind for a second. Vectors are physical quantities that have both magnitude, so size, and direction. That means when I answer a question and I'm dealing with vectors like force, acceleration, velocity, all those things, I need to give a direction. And sometimes it's not good enough to say in the positive direction or to the right. Sometimes we need to be a bit more specific, especially when working with angles. Here's my first way, compass points. So in this example, I've got vector one, which is pointing up and to the right. And you see here, I give you an angle of 30 degrees. How would I state the direction of that vector? Well, that vector is 30 degrees north of east. Think about the blue line. Which way is the blue line going? Well, we said the blue line is going up and to the right, right? Like this. It is going to the north of east. It is going to the north 30 degrees. It's not like this. It's not zero degrees east. It's not 10 degrees to the north. It's not 20 degrees to the north. It's 30 degrees north of east. If that confuses you, it's okay. Another way to remember it is if the vector is between the east axis and the vector like this, this angle, it's closer to the E. The East must come last in the name. I mean, that's not a very, it's not a beautiful way of doing it, but it maybe it helps you. Let's try it with the second vector. Maybe you guys can get this one. Vector two is pointing down and to the right. Now just think about this angle. This angle is 30 degrees. Think about which way vector two is opening up to. I know that sounds weird, but it's going let me just see. It's going like this, right? So here, <laughs> my camera is mirrored. So this way, it's opening up to the east. So it's going east of south. It's 30 degrees east of south. So when we say give the direction relative to the compass points, you mention the two compass points. What about bearing? Now, this one might be the easiest of them all. Bearing is an angle measured clockwise from the north line. So if I give a bearing of 90, a bearing of 90 would be like this. Here's the north line. That would be a bearing of 90. This would be a bearing of 180 because here's north. And we go all the way around like that to get a bearing of 180. 170 would be like that. 360 would be all the way around. So a bearing is an angle measured clockwise from the north line. Then I can get direction relative to another vector. So I can say vector A is 30 degrees clockwise relative to B. Remember, a clock goes like this, like this, right? So vector A is 30 degrees clockwise relative to B. Vector B is 30 degrees clockwise relative to A. Okay. The last way that I need you to remember is direction relative to the positive x-axis. So on the screen, I have a Cartesian plane. This is the y-axis, and this is the x-axis. Vector 1, here's the x-axis, so I'm going to just squiggle it in there. Vector 1 is over here, this angle over here. This is 30 degrees clockwise. Remember, again, a clock goes like this. That's clockwise. Think about the hands of a clock. This way is anti-clockwise anti-clock. So vector one is 30 degrees clockwise relative to the positive x-axis. Vector two is 110 degrees anti-clockwise relative to the positive x-axis. Does that make sense? No. Let's see. If we look at vector two, here's vector two, right? If I want to go clockwise, so here's the positive x-axis, this way is clockwise. Let's measure that angle quickly. So for this part, that is a 90 degree angle. That is another 90 degree angle. So we've got 90 plus 90, that's 180 degrees so far. And then we've got this angle over here. 
Now, if the entire angle is 90 and this part of here is 20, what do you think this part over here is? This would be 70. So essentially, it would be 180 plus 70. That gives us 250 degrees clockwise relative to the positive x-axis. I can again go backwards. I can go anti-clockwise. There's no rule that says you have to go clockwise. If I go anti-clockwise, this is what will happen. If I go anti-clockwise, let me change the color of my pen to show you. If I go anti-clockwise relative to the positive x-axis, I start over here. This is the positive x-axis. Anti-clockwise would be this way. Stopping here would be 90 degrees. Then I go extra 20 degrees. 90 plus 20 is 110 degrees anti-clockwise. So if you can remember these different ways of stating the direction of vectors. So going back, we've got our compass points north of east, east of north. We've got bearing and we've got direction relative to the positive x axis. You will know how to quote the directions of your vectors. Please remember to follow me, subscribe. You can also follow me on TikTok. I'm at Miss M Martins and I'll be doing loads more videos on vectors and Newton's laws.